what we have here is a strip that I started, uh, it was a strip of uh, hairy vetch and rye. I started turning it over probably uh, mid-April and everything was broken down enough that I was able to transplant my uh, tomato plants probably about the third week in May. And um, meanwhile, the rye and vetch on the beds next to it were continuing to, uh, to grow. Just about at this stage is the point where you want to knock it down. What I'm looking for is for the vetch to start to go to flower or the, the rye to be at pollen stage. And what I like to do ideally is to cultivate it once with my tractor and then I'll knock it down with, with the mower. And then once it's down, we'll use the straw as a mulch for the uh, tomato plants and then we'll bring in some uh, some stakes and do a basket weed system to bring uh, you know, a trellising for the tomatoes up out of the mulch. I'm utilizing the uh, straw from the strips to start with the mulching process, but I try to have a block of, of uh, rye and vetch nearby, as you can see behind here, and I'll mow that down. As I start to uh, mulch these, I'll have a good, uh, a good close by area where I can bring in more mulch without taking a lot of labor moving mulch from one area to another area of the farm. Well, I look at the cover crops as, as biomass. I mean, two things that are very important for the farm is nitrogen from the fixing of nitrogen and the legume, that's part of the green manure, and biomass is very important. So I want to maximize my biomass, which is bring it to full maturity. Strip system with, with hairy vetch and rye, overwintered, and then cutting strips in the, in the springtime. I use it for wide space crops, or crops that I tr choose to grow in a wide space, and that may not traditionally be grown in wide spacing, but uh, pumpkins and winter squash, easy to plant in 10 foot centers, that works very well and so I can have 5 foot wide beds with uh, the adjacent 5 foot wide strip of the hairy vetch and rye. Tomatoes, I have wide spacing so I can get a good airflow for, uh, for disease. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.